Today we shall reflect on the life of Saint Bernardine of Siena, born of distinguished parents on the 8th of September 1380 at Massa Marittima near Siena, Italy. Saint Bernardine of Siena was orphaned early in life and brought up by a maternal aunt in stern self-discipline in an atmosphere that fostered an ardent love for God in the poor. At the age of 17, that is midway through his study of canon and civil law this apostle of italy joined the severely ascetical confraternity of our lady which was attached to the famed hospital of siena for the relief of the sick and the poor when the plague broke out in the city during the jubilee year 1400 he with 12 young friends voluntarily ran the overcrowded and understaffed hospital for 4 months bringing hope and succor on much by his singular cheerfulness and sympathy as by his charitable ministrations 2 years later he distributed his inheritance among the poor and joined the franciscan order after 12 quiet years at the secluded monastery founded by him at Capriola near Siena in preparation for the work of significance God had in store for him in the year 1417 he actually began the incomparable missionary apostolate his voice which due to a throat ailment had been feeble and hoarse suddenly as if by a miracle became sonorous and clear belly age 37 he preached so brilliantly that he was soon in demand everywhere he thus traveled widely across italy for the next 27 years until his death renewing religious fervor among all classes of the people contemporary biographers like saint john capistram have described how the people by the tens of thousands flocked to attend his early mass in an open square after which he would preach penance and propagate devotion to the holy name of jesus his passionately sincere and vivacious preaching in the vernacular made for a pungent directness and was thus readily understood also by the unlearned so great came to be his influence that on the one hand cities embodied his suggestions in their laws under the title of reforms of brother bernardin and even recall political exiles and return their confiscated possessions on the other he restored strict observance in his order especially in the matter of poverty in connection with his devotion to the holy name of jesus bernardin who is probably the author of the litany of the holy name used with remarkable success the trigram ihs an abbreviation for the name of Jesus invented by Bernardin himself it was to be the one banner that all contending parties would enthusiastically follow and through it be led back through Christ on many houses and public buildings it replaced the old armorial crest when he was maliciously accused of introducing a new and quasi idolatrous devotion The explanations and clarifications he and John Capistram gave before the Pope resulted in the triumphant vindication of his orthodoxy with the Holy Father ordering him to preach in Rome for 80 consecutive days. Bernardin was known to have declined the bishopric at least thrice but from 1438 to 1443 he was the vicar general of the observance. and they grew during his lifetime from 130 friars to 4000 he died on the 20th of may 1444 the numerous miracles that followed his death led to an early canonization on the 24th of may 1450 during the reign of pope nicholas v the mortal remains of saint bernardin of siena initially buried in the church of saint francis the assisi were transferred on the 17th of may 1471 to a magnificent shrine within a nearby basilica erected in his honor